those developers with those notes in the game. <laughs> Shout out to Sean. Okay. <laughs> Man, I'm so curious. Someone in chat, tell me if you can see my face and my phone at the same time. I'm curious. I'm going to go uh, swipe up it out. I, if you can hear the audio. Can you hear the audio? You can hear the audio. How do I get back to the chat? There it is. There it is. Thanks for your patience as I sort this through. Chat. I just can see your face in game. There we go. Okay, good. So, man, that's awesome. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going back to the game. I wonder if you can hear the sounds, too. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. It matters to me. I'm, I'm a big sound guy. Interesting, the music is off, though. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Cloakin's in our team. What? <laughs>
Mr. Burns. Hey, Mr. Burns. <laughs> It didn't, didn't change. I, I clicked like four times. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Things happen. Why did it do that? <sighs> Frustration. Get it. This is the path. And then the other outpost is gone. Yep. You surrendered an outpost. Okay. Push this bridge, the death bridge. This is one of those 
Ah, I play with my screen. This controller is really right, annoying me. It's doing nothing where I want to go. It's super annoying. It's easier on the screen. Controller is lacking so much. Thing, boy, I needed to. Alright, I'm looking at Jack. Boy. <laughs> looking at. Boy. Any recent news on guilds? Oh, 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 oh. Any recent news on guilds getting incorporated into I realize that it might not be a priority. Yeah, guilds, guilds are. Uh, no promise on when this happened to me, but definitely something that's on our mind. You know, we still want to get.
This game's over.
five is zero dot six. Oh, okay. So interesting. Interesting. That seems like a good a long time ago. I'll have to check with Sean on that. I'm I'm curious what happened to to that. I don't think it's intended. I I know our infrastructure for um, you know servers and such as we approach global is. is obviously going to change or expand so uh, we're still kind of in this early dev state which there may be some changes um, you know happening because of where we are in the development state you know this balance of how much money do you pay out for you know particular environments globally versus run them more locally i think is a question where constantly balancing uh, any new snipers coming yes and there, there's a lot of gear um, always in flux and in motion. I think we were obviously convinced gear is a big part of this game, something we want to be a part of how you build and how you diversify your approach to the game. So um, I do not believe there are any new weapons uh, coming in 0 0.8. That is zero so good. no weapons, just some other stuff. <laughs> would guilds be good integration? Yes, guilds would be great. We love guilds and we would like to have guilds. I think at least zero to seven, but last two weeks it's getting worse. Okay, Dama, um, I'll check with I'll check with Sean on that. He may be watching actually, watching this chat. Totally okay with that. Once again, it's some Chelsea. Yeah, gotcha, Valhalla. Mel <laughs> um, is asking about the new primal. What new primal? How do you guys know about a new primal? <laughs> <laughs> Private rooms and spectator slots. Um, are you talking about being able to sort of stream your game? I said, Rod, is that, or are you actually talking about parties in a way? Uh, shout. Oh, a spectator slot. So yeah, yeah, to be able to be able to watch someone. Yeah, so watch I the people watching for the game. Yeah, that, that's something I love, and I know that we, we love. I, I would say that as a feature in terms of ones that we have prioritized at the moment uh, is not very high, but we do love that, and we'd like to work that way. There's just so much more about the base game experience that we want to tackle. <laughs> oh, man. Someone has been at the, the sharp end of Hot Men I know that's that feeling, my dude. As a strong, heavy weapon. Uh, nice. Uh, Dharma says, nice. Because, for example, I can't find my heavy weapon after Temporal Rush, so accessible. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that, that's no good. Oh, uh, I see you, Big Boris. Yeah, yeah, that, that's very similar to how we did um, observation or obsing in StarCraft 2, you still have to be able to have the kind of spectator mode. That's, yeah, it's essentially built off the back of spectator mode, and then the server only hosts X amount of viewers. Like, when you look at a client like Dota, Dota 2, their server hosts, you know, infinitely scalable numbers of viewers, which is really rad um, for their game, and allows them to do some really unique things. I think in games like StarCraft 2, um, because it was client-to-client -client relationship, those, those slots ended up being pretty limited. I think even in Heroes, you could only have like six. Well, if you had two full teams, which is 10 players in Heroes, I think you could only have two observers, maybe something like that. But yeah, there's some limitations on how that tech rolls out. I do notice like, that recycling mods. Sure. Yeah, so Vendemic, that's one of those things um, in terms of quality of life we're talking about. Like, how do we get the, how do we get the feedback between your your game and uh, you know the server to be faster for things like mod sharding or rolling mods things like that um, those are all quality of life things that we're looking at for sure uh, so the loading screens are better yeah loading screens too we, we're on that for sure 
would I like to join AP? Uh, I'm, I'm on the SEMC team. Yep. Which means I'm on SEMC Guild. Uh, okay, maybe we should get into another little game. Should we try something other than inside here? Yeah. Uh, CTF. 144. Okay. <laughs> no. XPR. Okay. Let's do some capture flag. Hell yeah. Capture flag. <laughs> what happens when you play this I map. Do his thing. That's why you play this map for the practice. I practiced this map like 30, 40 times. Just in the bot map. Just so I could run it quick. Oh, hey man. <laughs> Go man. I'll escort. players playing on the team. Dang, he's got a deck of kill bots. I'm literally laughing the map. <laughs> Too late. 
But thanks for being here all the same. Uh, did you leave Cali? I did leave Cali. I did. Um, you guys know Super Evil is a remote work environment. We uh, pretty distributed at this point. It was we were heavily focused in California as a team, but uh, since prior to the pandemic, we were beginning to work remotely pretty extensively. Like I was always in Southern California. We had folks in Seattle. Uh, we had people in LA, and we would kind of converge on. Uh, San Mateo in San Francisco every couple weeks, um, but when the pandemic happened, that was totally impossible. So, you know, we were working fully remotely at that point, and you know, the question of like, well, if we can be fully remote, for me, it was like maybe maybe I can move closer to family and you know be near the mountains. Can you even? I can't show you the mountains. There's not much to see for mountains. I don't even know what this looks like. Oh, it destroys my sound. Front Range, Colorado. In Colorado life, so, so yeah, I'm working out here. We have some other folks who've kind of moved as well, while still being able to keep up the pace on development. Was I in a pot match? No, man, I just hit this CTF uh, thing. I wasn't really paying attention to everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, any news on updates for controller support? Yeah, the controller needs some more love. I'm a big controller fan too. Um, yeah, it hasn't had a full pass yet. It, it will, though, I think. Pre-prom, you know, as we're getting dressed, it, it'll, it'll get that. At least, I'll be fighting for it to get that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't make any promises. Um, doing AP, man. So much AP pressure. <laughs> I the game is very enjoyable. Good game to the live stream, too. Yeah, yeah I survived to the killer streamer, man. It's fun to see see the streaming going on. Uh, any ideas if 3D models of items are going to make it into the UI itself? Mm. Hey, no promises, but we talk about that a lot. You know, we we the art team does such a good job making these weapons and the characters. They look so cool. The primals, all that stuff. Um, it would be sad to not show them off more. Um, and, and give you an opportunity to kind of play with them or see them, you know, closer up because the game camera, um, especially being you know mobile game, it's, you can't always appreciate the details, uh, and there are really rad details to all of those things. So, um, yeah, we, we, we love that idea. If I join, you see my sound drops from the stream. Yeah, I have no idea what happens if you join voice chat and try to have Discord on. I'm sure something weird happens. Right joystick means any reticle and R2. Oh, those are controller suggestions. Hold up. Okay. Hey, Vanglorious, make sure you make sure you submit that to feedback. Uh, you may have already, but if you haven't, make sure you send that over. Uh, it'd be good to have that. Hey, that is it. Um, yeah, awesome. Can we see our trinket on the game screen? Yeah, it's not. Oh, like, interesting. Yeah, as like a. Yeah, I guess you know some trinkets. There, there's some information there. We're looking at trinkets though that, for instance, have use cases that are on cooldown or Ooh. you know only trigger for X or Y reason. We are definitely considering ways to ensure you're aware that that's happening, so <laughs> that's an effect or sound or or whatever. Um, so even if. We didn't put a button on there. I think, if I can guess why you would want to see it, would be to have the information you need regarding cooldowns and such. But let, let me know if I'm wrong about that. Maybe there's another reason why you might want to have it on there. <laughs> um, you know, we're gonna tr we try to keep the, the UI as clean and clear as possible without putting too many buttons or unnecessary things on there. Um, so if we can find a way to communicate the information you need from your trinket, whether that's effects or sounds or things like that, uh, let me know if you think that would be enough. <laughs> I know, I'm just kind of worried about people complaining about Oh, IVX! So, the, the just know that showing the 3D items in the menu won't increase the, uh, the, the size of the game. Because they're already 3D. So we, we would just be showing them off. 
uh, you know, pulling that information up in the UI in a way that would allow it. So it, it shouldn't have a massive impact on, on the download size. Uh, can we have an encyclopedia on all the gears, banners, and traits? It would be nice to plan out everything. Um, are you talking like a website, like a wiki? Um, we definitely want you to be able to see all that information in the game. But having it in such a way that you could like look it up apart from seeing it in the UI is maybe something that's better for, for a week. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It would be cool to have a better way of seeing what friends and foes have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we talked about that too. It's, you know, you get crushed by some loadout and you're like, man, how in the heck did that person have health the way that they did? Or, you know, what are they doing even <laughs> to see all the dumps, the mods themselves? Um, that stuff would be really rad to have. It, it, it's kind of important in some ways. Uh, that, that's going to be, as you deepen your time in the game, that's going to be a lot of the chase. Like, well, what is it this person is doing? Oh, I never thought to play that way. That's interesting. You know, we want you to be able to make those insights or those uh, have those insights happen while playing. I think that's one of the cool things about voice chat right now is it's an opportunity to engage and to talk about the game in a way that allows you to consider things you might not have considered if you're playing with players who, who have spent more time playing. Um, so that's pretty rad. We, we do like that about voice chat right now. Um, it's almost as much as you could look at it as like, oh, that's a hardcore feature. Kind of. But we've also seen it being used in ways where it's it's actually really helpful for new players too, um, just because of some of the depth in the game. Uh, sometimes I'm not sure if I updated my loadout. <laughs> Oh, I see. You just want to be able to see what you have on entirely yeah. when you're in a game. I get what you're saying. That makes sense. It's good piece of feedback, actually. Sometimes I like someone's weapon, but I don't know which one it is. Yeah, yeah. One of the Discord mods is making a wiki about it, actually. Um, customizable UI builder like some other mobile games have. Uh, I would say that's something we haven't considered, um, just being perfectly frank. But if it's something a lot of people want to see, send it in feedback for sure. Serious note, even without that, can we get a left-handed mode? Good feedback. Yeah, that's true. Good feedback, dude. Um, adding on to the loadout idea, sometimes knowing the traits of the mod might help too. Yep, the traits of the mod. That's exactly right. Nuke missile that hurts same team also. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that may be, uh, that may be a, uh, no. <laughs> a green tool we don't want in the game. <laughs> no. You play an out of you, I have several safe loadouts. We talk about that all the time, Dharma. I have no, you know, no info on when something like that would happen. But yeah, if we, we, you know, little dead inside. We've actually had that kind of feature in builds but not in a way that we consider polished but we, we have had actually have that functionality in uh, dev builds but we would need to spend more time on it uh can we get away a little gear yeah yeah wouldn't that be cool like on your loadout screen to just have a brief summary of how all of your stuff compiled together i think uh, that would be super it's fun when playing with friends on pc yeah for sure We get some Destiny references in the game. There are lots of other game references in the game at the moment, uh, and cultural references, but not a lot of Destiny references. I'll consider it. Uh, hype isn't enough already. Okay. Everyone loves Easter eggs. I was re replaying the original Duke Nukem and completely forgot that the first level of developer put an email. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should do that. Free quit. Everyone loves some quint. You have to ask Vulcan about that now. Uh, all right, Nexi on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> don't go, don't go past him too much. Any new banners being discussed? Uh, I don't have any info on that topic. Okay. Yeah, for 
sure of it, Derek. Thank you, dude, for being here. Um, sorry I'm in my car. Like, I, I would have been at home. For those of you who don't know, my, my internet went out, like, literally right after I posted about doing this thing up. So I'm sitting here under a 5G tower trying to make sure my... I can do this. I, I never thought I could do this from a cell phone, so I'm glad to know that it, it does work. Team, I should probably wipe this down for myself. I got a, I got a meeting with Ciderhelm here actually in just a few minutes. Uh, oh, cool! I saw it. I'll take a look at that. What device do I use? I'm actually on a iPhone 12 Pro Maximum. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Can, uh, Apple needs to add more modifiers to their phone names. Pro Max. I'm going to end this second stream of the day because I just wanted to broadcast the stream of the Let's Play session from the Discord server. So that's what this stream was about. So, all right, y'all. Later. <laughs>